Are you fasting right now? Yeah, I am. I am. Yes. For uh, how many days? Uh, I started. I was back home in Latvia, and I come back and started twenty seventh. I think day four. Nice. Today. Good. How are you feeling? Good. Good. Yeah. Good. It's a little bit weird. This is like my intention is to do another forty days. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to America on the 1st of August mm -hmm. for three weeks. Uh, I'll see how many days. Like, uh, I would definitely want, I think this time around this, I less energy at the moment. Less energy? Yeah. Then mm -hmm. I, I, other past, I, master past, I don't feel good. Otherwise, feel good. Mm -mm. Definitely different. Definitely, something in my body is different. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe deeper? <laughs> yeah, could be. Yeah, could be. Yeah, because uh, you feel more detox symptoms. Mm -hmm. You're having low energy on the juice. How many liters are you drinking of your? I, definitely two. Yeah. So, are you doing everything pretty much the same as before? Uh, are you having low energy? I think I do a little bit more dry, dry windows than I done in the first mm -hmm. 40 yeah, days. That would be deeper. Uh, how much are you doing? Uh, uh, 16 to uh, no, 15 to 17 hours daily. Yeah, that's a lot. I would slow down. Mm. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, especially like, like you still recommend mm -hmm. on lower. Yeah, yeah. I would uh, do definitely go with the list because you want to go further. You want to have your energy, and you want to go as far as you can. I mean, if you're going to the states, you'll be interrupted a little bit. You're gonna stop it when you go to the states. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'll see now, Rana, because a uh, you know it's. I'm not sure what way is gonna work with animals. Because I'd be staying with friends and moving from one place to another. Mm. Uh, <laughs> intention, of course, would be great if not. And again, then I need to bring all, you know, the tinctures and everything with me, which is another thing. But mm. uh, I'll, see how, I'll see how it goes and where I am at that, that point, you know, before 1st of August. Mm. If everything goes, you know, everything I mean, is yeah. possible. Yeah, everything is possible, absolutely. Uh, everything is possible. Mm. Like, uh, if you want to make it work, you can make it work with the animals. Uh, yeah, I know it can be, it's not your bathroom, so it's not as comfortable. Exactly. It's yeah. always nice to, you know, to be comfortable when you do them. <laughs> you know? And I'll be staying with them in the house, and I'm not sure will we even be getting like our own bathroom. Mm -hmm. I would say probably not. And you know, mm. just not gonna be as comfortable. Mm. So you wanna do it at times when they are not using the bathroom, maybe earlier in the morning or something. Mm. 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 Yeah. How long are you there for? Three, 18 days. Well, yeah. so just vacation? I'm going to Stargate, uh, Stargate Meditations in other dimension of. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful experience. I have been there a few times already. And nice. And where do you live? In Ireland. Okay. Mm. Nice. And you're from Latvia? Latvia originally, mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So what else is, um, as you're, so far you're enjoying it except for the low energy, right? I'm not, I'm not, no, I'm not complaining at all. Just I notice difference. Mm. No, no, no. Like, I feel good. Mm -hmm. But as I say, like, probably it's deeper. And mm -hmm. it's, uh, like, mm, what? There's no, like, definitely feel good. Mm. Yeah, it's, it is it's definitely different. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure it's uh, just deeper because of the longer dries. And how about your weekly dry fasting? A weekly, I you haven't started. Like, no, see, I, I don't, I was aiming for 36, but I done only 22 hours because of the weather. Mm. In Ireland at the moment, it's very hot. Mm. 
and I went for a walk and my lips got really, really dry. And I say, right, okay, I'm going to break it this time. It's okay. And yeah, I didn't push myself. Yeah. I only found 22. Yeah, I wouldn't do more, much more than 24. Mm. Yeah, mm. I would do 24. You know, uh, just keep it at that. And then uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe in six months or something, you can go up to 36 hours a week. But for now, yeah. I'd say keep it um, at the lower side so you can go further without mm -hmm. feeling tired because when you push at the beginning, um, usually we, um, we feel very tired and we just break it. Yeah, because when I was eating, I easy can do 36, 48 hours every week. Mm. That's, yeah, that's when I'm no, that's no problem. But this time, we really experienced so hot weather, which had did, really... did you keep your dries when you were eating or was hard? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, good for you. Yeah. I practice an even daily there of course I you know I f fall as well I'm not mm -hmm. I'm not perfect or anything and there yeah but I was doing 12 to 15 hours daily the days I could but there's some days was where I only donate you know mm -hmm. nice yeah <laughs> yeah Interesting journey. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. How are you? What are you? What What are you doing yourself now? Um, I'm starting. I'm not sure if I want to do Master Fast weekly um, or full Master Fast. I'm debating. <laughs> I was eating. Mm -hmm. uh, I broke 116 days about um, a month ago. Mm -hmm. I did 30, 33 days of eating. Um, and I want to get back, um, I, I always love the feeling on the massive fast. So if I eat, my plan is definitely not to eat, um, every day, but to, do, um, maximum one day a week if I plan to eat. Mm -hmm. Cause, uh, even that I felt was a little bit too much, mm -hmm. but at the same time, it's nice because, um, it helps me, uh, have a healthy relationship with food. It improves my relationship with food. So I would make better and better choices when I uh, uh, do Massive Fast Weekly, which is one day of eating per week, like um, I did Sundays only. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think I'm going to go back to that just to, um, I guess, make my relationship because, you know, food is enjoyable, mm -hmm. but at the same time, fasting is more enjoyable, but I might let I. Uh, ready to completely let go of the enjoyable food, you know. <laughs> it's uh, I don't, yeah, it's, it can feel a little bit uh, tricky. Like I'm not, like I'm not ready, maybe to give it up. I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, so I'm thinking when I do massive fast weekly, it will give me the feeling of the massive fast because most of the time my body I feel is clean, and then one day I eat the fruits and vegetables. Um, maybe I'll do all raw, just to keep it super clean. Um, it's easier. It's less addictive. Um, I usually don't overeat. And if I overeat a little bit on raw food, it doesn't hurt me as much as the cooked food. The cooked food can feel very heavy when we overeat it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's what I want. Yeah, that would be me too. Yeah, like when I eat it, like I overeat way too much, way too much. That's definitely me too. Yeah, the cooked food, right? It's addictive. Mm. Yeah, we can easily overeat sweet potatoes and um, quinoa, anything. if you're eating quinoa or anything. Yeah, anything. Really, oh, anything really. I noticed like I was in Latvia and we had raw, uh, like I was eating strawberries, cherries and peas, but way too much, way too much. With the fruits? Yeah, uh, like mm. fruits, uh, like cherries and strawberries, not too bad, but peas, oh wow. Well. Mm. Yeah, it just was in the garden. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say beans? No, uh, peas. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nice. Raw. Oh, beautiful. From the garden? Yeah. Raw? You yeah. ate them raw? Nice. Yeah. I love them. They're sweet. Beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Beautiful. <laughs> Do you have a garden? 
No, and they, my family, like my family, Latvia, yeah, they have not me in Ireland, no. Mm. No, yeah, my dream. <laughs> yeah, one um, day. A couple of years, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not? I see when I was growing up, like, no matter how poor we were, but we always had a garden. And I think that's something is really rooted in me. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I really, really enjoy. <laughs> Yeah, when we start eating clean, we definitely appreciate uh, the food Rainbow. from the trees. Yeah, we, we really appreciate the food coming from God, straight from God, you know, from the sun, you know, right uh, by the sun. It's, it's beautiful. Mm. Uh, yeah, and it's much easier and in the garden. And what did I do? Yeah, early, early in June, I don't force colonics. Because on the first 40 days, on uh, other mass and fast I done, I never had colonics. And then how many days I done? I think I was on day 10 or 9 when I done it. And it's definitely way more powerful. Than Then uh, uh, Colima or Anima. Okay, you've done Colimas as well? Oh yeah, I have Colima board. Yeah. yeah. And you felt it's uh, more powerful? Oh, way deeper. Oh my mm-hmm. goodness. Mm-hmm. Way cannot explain the feeling mm-hmm. like i couldn't feel the like way more entire all my body than and i do animals like from four uh, four it's up to like up to eight bags and okay. an every day wow when I and each off. bag is the two liters two liters 2.5 nearly mm-hmm. yeah yeah, that's uh, and it takes a long time, right? To do the animals, it's colimas are less time. I cannot say that, rather, because as I, I think I typed that on that page as well, because I do usually twice a day, and it's a, from half an hour to an hour it takes me to do the four to five bags. Because when I do colima, it's very same length of time. While you fill it up, you do it, and then you wash it. It's it's pretty much it's only thing I think is you're more relaxed because you just lie down and you, you don't do really anything. Yeah. And it's more water of course. I mean it's about yes. twenty twenty liters yes. versus yes. uh eight well, whatever. Like uh, four at a time it would be like eight, ten to uh, ten liters. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um cool. Um yeah, but, but how long do you hold when you take water in uh, with the enema? Don't hold. I can hold it, but I don't really hold because, as I say, if I would be holding, I would be another hour in there. Exactly. That's why I was like, it takes forever, you know, because most people would hold it. And it yeah. usually gives you better release when you hold it, but, but it does yeah. take a long time. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But same, like, as I say, when I do Kalama, I don't hold it either. I yeah, let you it don't, in, usually. Yeah. And I let it out. Yeah, but the colima it's different from the animals for sure. I mean, they're yeah, both yeah. different, and the colonics is also different. Oh, absolutely, way more powerful, way more powerful. Yeah, right. I I remember, I uh, the animals are are good, you know. Mm. Um, I do also six liters, and then, uh, well, I do less than you, uh, do six liters, and then the um, colima I tried it for the first time. At Gino's place in December, and I was like, "Wow, this is amazing!" <laughs> I was in love with the Kulima. But then I went to work after Christmas time. Um, I did the colonic. And I was like, "Okay, now we're talking again." <laughs> yeah, colonics is definitely more washing. Uh, um, you well experienced because that's like you're working a lot. Yeah. You know. And uh, yeah, and. Um, did you release more than usual, you felt, with the colonics? No, 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 I wouldn't say that, no. You didn't, okay. Um, so, you release, do you know if you release more with the animals and colonics, or you don't know? I more or less. Probably okay. pretty much, uh, the stuff I was able to see it, pretty much the same. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I know it's on my right hand side, like, when I'm not eating, and when I do, like even actually now when I'm doing anima, I can feel it. There is like a lot, two lumps 
on my right hand side. And the lady was doing colonics for me, she also noticed. And she said to me, it's time, like, let's get that, uh, what's the word, like, released. And she was massaging me so hard. I was so in pain the next day, but still there. And just still there. But I would say something probably needs to, you know, it's attached to my colon. So it's like a small lump on the right it's, side? Yeah. It's like a, it's, it's definitely, I can feel, when I'm not eating, no way I can feel that. But when my mouth is empty, and when I do colonics, not colonics, when I do colema or enema, and I massage my bowels to get more, I definitely can feel the stuff on the right hand side. Where exactly is it um, up or down? It's a, one is well, a lower, a just to, you know, the bone, a hip of the bone. Mm -hmm. It's like a little bit towards belly. Another one is just right under, a, a little bit below my ribs. Okay, so um, down, where close to the liver, the colon yeah. area close yeah. to the liver. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and Ev everybody has a different, uh, different obstruction in the colon. Yeah, and it's no pain or anything. Oh no, 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 it's not absolutely. Yeah, not. it's just blocks. Indeed, definitely, definitely, definitely. You know, as my partner say, you should check out. I say, what I need to check out when I eat? There is nothing. <laughs> it's only when it's clean, empty, it's yeah, common. Yeah, yeah. You don't need to and check, in my opinion, because absolutely the, the answer no. is always the same. You, you want to clean up, right? It doesn't oh. matter. Even if we have something, uh, we, we get diagnosed with something, the answer is always the same. So why get diagnosed in the first place? Oh, exactly. Oh, it's no, a lifestyle. I you want to live pure, a pure trust in my body. Absolutely pure trust. Yeah, no, no worries there at all. Nice. Yeah. 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 Um. I just wanted to mention to, I think Robert was, I think he lives in Ireland, and he put up today on the Facebook page, he cannot find a grape juice in Ireland. Uh, and like he's right now. But what he can do, the grape juice, it's, if he goes to Latvian or Lithuanian shops, they import from Latvia and or Lithuania. You can get in there. I cannot say I like the taste myself. And other thing I buy in Northern Ireland, in Asda, uh, they have natural 100%. Uh, it says red grape juice, but it's way darker than purple grape juice and much nicer taste. It's very, very similar to Concrete grape juice my friends brought me from America. Okay, good. Yeah, Thank just so for much. if Robert watches, uh, just for him to know. And I can, uh, I can put up the picture as well okay. on the yeah, webpage just for people to know because it is very difficult to get grape juice in Ireland now. Okay. Impossible. Was it easier before? Yeah, we used to have a little. The, when I was doing 40 days since last September, and uh, I think they stopped sometime this year in April, if mm. I remember well. Yeah, and is no at all, cannot find. Mm. I wonder why. Yeah, no, I'm not sure. Maybe there is Amy, the demand. My daughter laughed. She said, Mommy, you drank it all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, uh, your partner, you have a partner, right? Yeah. Yeah. And is he also, uh, uh, how, how is he feeling with your detoxing and eating cleaner? And uh, yeah, he does. Like, he definitely changes. There's no mm -hmm. question. And, you know, there's no pressure, no nothing. And now what I got him out of my bag because he was curious. And he is starting to do. And yeah, he experienced pain and all, but it's so he's releasing. He he's eating like seven days a week. Okay. He's, de he's definitely cutting down the food, and he's cutting down the sugars. 
and it's changing like definitely it's changing definitely, yeah, yeah. Yeah. is he releasing uh, well with the animals yeah yeah, yeah but he's good. like yeah 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 interesting for like mm -hmm. and interesting like with uh, me can talk and good yeah and I, be beautiful beautiful so absolutely good. like he would be completely different mindset than me like a lot of like living from the fear but he and you know logic like so nice. everything makes logic doesn't make logic <laughs> you know like completely different than me mm -hmm. but yeah but beautiful beautiful so inside amazing yeah yeah i see sometimes uh um, clients who are new to to everything to colonics you know yeah and they see what come out of it what comes out of them and they just can't believe it where is this coming from it's like sewage it's like you know they're releasing sewage and they're just amazed and uh, they're impressed and the, by the information you know they start thinking okay i'm not gonna eat anything junk anymore and you know yeah it's nice mm -hmm. it's nice no, to uh yeah to just give it a try you know? and then i'm sure slowly they will make better and better choices but as you know yourself, Hannah, this like lifestyle, it's one is commitment, another one is very challenging. It's very, very challenging when like, okay, wants people around you and other family and it's just sort of you need to be really Certainly. like commit to what you, right? Like I'm doing that not because of my health. I'm doing because it was a call. It was a call to do it. Yeah, change my lifestyle, and uh, and some days, yeah, you think I, I'm gonna go on a fast, and there is family have something, and just just goes, and you want to eat that stuff, and that's it. Mm -hmm. you know, yeah, and, yeah, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's fantastic. Did you come from eating everything uh, standard? <laughs> when I started, like a uh, last year, person, I I never the past in my life before and what i done it was a uh, read a book i was on spiritual path for a good while now and i read one book there where it was soft cleanses and i was a uh, i heard from my friends before but i never was ready would not hope i was able to do that and then when i got that book and i read it i just was like this that's it your time and I done go a uh, for four weeks once a week five liters of water in uh, like boiling the water with two and a half tablespoons of salt, and you drink that in completely empty stomach first thing in the morning, and then there was exercises and your massage and then you help release, and yeah, I definitely felt somebody gave me a magic wand, and and then. Was keep doing a couple of months and was on and off, and then I had a friend who was doing fasts. Again, same time, and like when I met him at the time, I wasn't ready for any fast. For it. like I, whatever I was, I was on spiritual fast, but not for changing my phone. To, uh, whatever I was doing, and then eventually, I something just didn't work, and I so. And probably reading and that salt cleanse and then I was connecting with him more and was more curious what he's doing and I said no I feel it's time it's time to change and then I start to last year I think in April after they're all salt flushes I don't start to change my diet and I went more raw uh, dairy I cannot remember dairy now I might was sometimes drinking black tea with milk but i wasn't very dairy at that time already like more or less dairy was free and then raw smoothies and more fruits and i think i was even very better if i was eating meat was chicken and very little and then i done 13 day orange juice fast in july before I was going to California. And then, yeah. And then when I come back from California, 
in August. My friend, that same who was doing fasts, introduced me with this master fast and say, I don't think I ever say to you about master fast system. And I say, right, send me a link. And he sent me a link. I joined the Facebook and I looked at Gino's videos and I, my God, he says, what are my days? I say, no, 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 no. That's, I cannot see that. I see maybe he can do that. But oh my goodness, what? is this and then yeah it wasn't long i purchased my tinctures and i i was talking to gino myself and i jumped in and i done 40 days but i broke because of the weight i lost like overall i lost 20 over 20 kg since that all like all changing my diet and a 13 day orange juice and then master fast and I came down to 52 and some people was good but some people say I'm not gonna go to your funeral you know and it's I know it's completely to my mindset it's like what I believe I like there is no doubt it's some fearfulness was in me or even was to accept myself the way I am and I completely felt knew me completely knew me and it was good yeah no it was good I broke but I fell rather I did I fell and when I broke my fast I definitely I was eating I didn't eat now like say heavy meat but I was eating chicken I was eating meat oh and way too much oh my god yeah I know you I felt, I say, even to my friends who I'm talking to now, they're interested in myself, I say, you mean me to be way prepared to come off the fast, the naturally fast itself. Because when you fast, it's easy. Okay, you experience challenges and all, but when you come off the fast, and if you never done that before, my God, I felt I was able to eat an elephant, and I was still able to eat. That's funny. And yeah. uh, did you find your balance after that? How long did it take you with the food? Yeah, it's way easier. Like I cannot say 100%. As I say, I still overeat when I eat, but it's way easier. Yeah. And it's way easier to not eat meat or not eat dairy. I don't miss really, you know. And sometimes what I noticed actually, uh, you know, probably because I often weigh more up, something feels, maybe that is space, what I'm not used to. At work, when I do work and I sort of intend to do my that full day fast, I intend to, something is empty, something is not, you know, not right. And then, okay, I'm gonna have something to eat. If I, I'm not sure, but I would feel it's, you know, you talk about, we are like so much space in us. And if you never experienced that before when eating and it just something feels not right, you know, I just, you know, but it's, it's okay. Like I, and I don't judge myself. Absolutely not at all. What I see it's, pure experience even like if i do have pain and bloating or it's just pure experience and only thing like That's i would amazing. suggest uh, for newbies who cannot do or they try to do and they fall keep doing animus keep doing animus because animus cleans you out and I think you keep doing slowly, but step forward. What I have noticed in me after the 40 days, you know, that's what I definitely would recommend who are struggling with fasts and definitely uneaten. Do animus, do animus, and that's it. Wash it out. Yeah, uh, so the, that's when they break the fast and they don't do too well, they fall off. Uh, then uh, you're suggesting to do enemies, right? Yeah, 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 yeah de what? definitely. And I say the same thing, especially when we're starting a new fast, 
if you're having struggles at the beginning, I say it's best to just wash your colon as much as you can the first few days, and this will really help you with the cravings. You have much less cravings when your body's cleaner. Yeah, Once yeah. you have the obstructions, you know, you're feeding the parasites, in my opinion, they want more. Mm. And it's going to be, uh, they want more of the obstructive food. Yeah. Definitely, yeah, that's for sure. You know, no yeah, exactly. So don't be hard on yourself, just do no. the right thing. You know what's the right thing, right? Just clean up, get back on track. Um, and so you're, um, you're doing really well now, balancing food and fasting as well, right? Because you still have your dry fasting schedule, right? That's great. That's amazing. And when was your 40 days? I, uh, I start 18th of September and whatever it was, that was last year. Mm -hmm. But I, like, I, I sent on so many like a week or then the other longest four months of fast was 22. Yeah. And this is your and third long one. This is going to, yeah, it's this third one long one, yeah. Like I usually do it seven, five days and then I fall. Yeah, I know, we're falling, oh yeah. Usually yeah. you fall quite a bit before you I, do a long I'm one. ready and then I start <laughs> and then two, three days. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, the first, I mean, you're day four. So I'm saying you're past that point. So that's good. I think, you know, like it's the, the toughest uh, time is the first two, three days. Yeah. No, yeah. I just feel, I just something, I came back from home from Latvia and something just said, mm -hmm. that's it, I'm ready. And I came to my partner's house and he has a fabulous greenhouse lovely red strawberries cucumbers and i love to be in there but it's perfectly fine it's no attachment or there's no oh it's okay i i can do another time pass no it feels it feels great you know mm. yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> that's amazing good job very proud of you good for you. i mean that's the way really yeah, yeah gino hi gino <laughs> Hello guys, sorry I'm a little Hi. late. Hi, yeah, that's, uh, that's the first few days to about a week for most people is the toughest when they start fasting. And then of course the toughest is breaking the fast for everybody. Absolutely. <laughs> so we, uh, you know, if we look at, let's look at a different scenario. Let's look at uh, these uh, areas where people are actually starving themselves uh, to death, you know, and like, uh, certain countries in Africa and so on and so forth. What, what do you think is going through their mind? That they have no choice but not to eat anything because that's Here, what they I believe. Say. Here. <laughs> yeah, so, um, you know, we have uh, in these so modern societies, we've built uh, with uh, food on top of food on top of food. Um, it's everywhere, right? So, this is the problem. This is not really a, a way that is found anywhere uh, in previous in nature. Like I would think, you know, um, it's uh, it's it's it, it, we're being bombarded by advertisements and this, that, and everything. Everything's about food, food, food. So it becomes a real challenge, you know, the way we're uh, brought up. Uh, with food, you know, settle your emotions with food. People are doing it all the time. You know, when uh, children, uh, they're being, uh, you know, told it's time to eat, you know, and they may not be even hungry, right, most of the time. And they start getting into that, and that's that's what starts all our challenges. All these little things that are not really natural or in sync to our, our what our body's actually desiring. Um, but anyway, um, we we yep. we have to relearn and retrain ourselves, and it takes time. And uh, you know, we're gonna fall down. Who cares? As long as we keep getting up and we keep driving to our goals, you know, this is it. You know, it's it's uh, it's all a learning process, and it keeps getting better and better. Oh, you know, look how many people are continuing, you know, one fast after another fast after another fast in these past, uh, you know, almost three years. It's because when you're fasting, you feel so amazing. And when you go back to food, you go, what am I doing? <laughs> so, 
Um, and, you know, when we eat, let's enjoy it as much as we can fully and uh, do the best we can to stay clean, raw, mostly fruit and, um, and work from that. That's uh, that's the key. Simple, and you know, we keep uh, we keep supporting each other, keep inspiring each other, and this is uh, this is it. It's there's no rocket science here. It's it's very simple process. Um, we just got to be committed. That's the big word where um, we find very few actually committing. Very few. So. The only person that can do it is our, yourself, you know, that, and myself. We can't do it for anybody else, and nobody can do it for us. So we're going to have to make that commitment if we want to make changes. Otherwise, nothing's going to change. Um, and like, like we've said, you know, change everything in the home. Change everything so the old triggers are gone. Um, keep uh, doing things that um, um, that are, you know, all around us that give us triggers are going to be a challenge. They're, gonna, they're just going to, there's certain triggers that you may not even notice that will trigger you and bring on certain emotions. And when these emotions come, food is, it comes into play. <laughs> so we need to change things uh, if we want to make some changes. And uh, it, it really helps when you do. Uh, for example, you know, people go on certain retreats and on, so on and so forth. They feel amazing. This, then they go home and they're back to all those triggers and you go back to the old ways. Uh, if you don't start fixing the problem where you're at, <laughs> and that is with, with everything, you know. It's like we say with meditation. Like if you go on the uh, workshop and you do meditation, you feel good, and then when you stop it, it's all on your skins come back to you. All unless you keep doing and practicing. Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and like I, I same as fast, you feel good, you feel light, you feel happy. Okay, there, as you know, it could be like challenges what you need to let go, but otherwise, you feel so good. And if you give up and you eat, it's all come back again. Mm -hmm. It's very same, yeah, absolutely. Like <clears throat> for me, prayers five times a day is really helpful. Um, like if I just did it one time a day, it's really not going to help me enough. I see it, it's help, more helpful because there's much less distraction. You know, you're not going to be distracted for too long. You're back on prayers, you know, you're always praying. And I would say the same thing probably with meditation, right? Like you want to keep doing it because you can't, if you stop, it's yeah. gone. You know, you're going to yeah. be distracted. Same thing with food. You go back to the heavy stuff. It's, it's going to distract you because it's addictive. The yeah, cleaner the food. Yeah, the cleaner the food, the less addictive it is, for sure. Yeah, this is uh, where we write down our goals, set it in stone. So uh, make a certain window for your eating time. And any other time besides that eating window is not for food. You know, drill it into yourself. So no, it's not eating time. No way, no matter what. <laughs> make a, whatever time that is, is, works best for you. You know, some people... Uh, like it, uh, you know, the early afternoon. Some people may like it in the morning. Some people may like it in the early evening. But uh, you know, if we can set that window of eating, just you know, specific, uh, and no other times, no matter what we we don't eat, it, it'll make a big difference. Like I did many, many years, one, one meal a day. Many years I did that, and um, wouldn't eat nothing all day, just one meal uh, dinner time. And, uh, you know, it was great, but, uh, like now I don't eat every day, so it's a bit different, but I'm just saying it's, uh, if we can work on something in, in, in that line, um, and not seven days a week for sure. <laughs> but, well, um, yeah. It's like a spiritual practice, right? Like you really don't want to, like, you want to follow it to feel better, yeah. but it's right. like spiritual, yeah. Okay. Write it in stone. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's your 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 commandments, your own commandments. <laughs> and when you did the one meal per day, was that before raw foods? When you uh, yeah. yeah yeah so that, that was just intermittent fasting kind, of, but very long time ago. Yeah, it was just uh, you know, 
the early days uh, I was I was fasting, but uh, on season changes, and uh, but my uh, my eating was one meal a day, uh, and uh, when I went raw, I I didn't I didn't go crazy with a lot of meals either, uh, two meals mostly, sometimes three, but. Um, the, the the thing that uh, even no matter how clean I ate, which I, I ate very clean for many years, growing all my own sprouts and stuff and fruit, uh, it, it, it came to a point where I was craving for the, the next fast. My body says it's just enough food. So, you know, my body's very sensitive when I overeat now. You know, it, kinda, it, it does weird things. <laughs> so I, I, uh, I have to put myself, keep myself in line and, and keep fasting because... I love fasting more than eating. I love to, I love to eat, but I love fasting more. <laughs> so yeah, absolutely. We 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 program ourselves because you know I I honest I honestly believe we weren't made to eat physical foods. Um, we are my more. So Gino, can you repeat this? We you're coming yeah, out. Yeah. Um, Oh, hello. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Please. Yeah. How about now? Mm-hmm. Uh, something's my internet's going on over here. Um, I was saying, uh, what was I saying? I lost track. Um, uh, lost my train of thought. Um, uh, yeah, well, you know, um, we love to eat, but we love to fast more and we, we retrain ourselves. I was saying, uh, about the, the food, I don't believe we were designed to eat physical foods. We are much more than the physicality. Um, and it's just that our program that we been brought up with has us believing that we need to eat. And this is the, this is the challenge for many of us, uh, most of us. So do we stop eating? No, you know, a lot of people, they're, they're dying trying breatharianism because they don't understand the process of eliminating all those obstructions in today's toxic man, which is probably uh, one of the most uh, toxic states man has ever been in that we know of. <laughs> and and that's the challenge. So we, we, we want to do it slowly. We want to do it wisely. And uh, it's gone again. And and make the changes less is more we're just slowly reducing 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 so there's not much of a uh, a shock to the body um in uh, in the in this changes because uh, our bodies are in a very dehydrated state eating seven days a week and drinking water and all that stuff very dehydrated state that's why you see everybody with drinking with bottles in their hands and it, they can't solve their their hydration problems because um, their body's dehydrated, <laughs> it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not creating any hydration. And and as you el- eliminate and reduce, uh, the body starts actually waking up and functioning the way it was designed to function. And 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 you know, it's not that um, we're not we're, we're stopping eating. Let's let's look at it a different way. We're changing. We're changing where we get our energy from. We're changing. Instead of getting it from food, we're getting it from everything else. And that's the key. We're not stopping uh, completely eliminating, uh, uh, consuming something for, for energy like food. Uh, we're just going to better sources and more efficient sources. Yeah, and, I uh, mean, food is not really energy. If anything, it's an obstruction. It's, yeah, it takes energy, way more um, energy than it gives you yeah and i i feel the reason we think it gives us energy is because it stops detoxification Mm -hmm. because when you stop eating people say if i don't eat for two hours um you know exactly i feel like i'm dying and and the reason is because you're detoxing for the first time you know and so you eat and you stop the detox and you're gonna feel better yeah, that, that's the process that where very few understand when you stop eating. You, know, you get weak and they, they don't comprehend, they don't understand. The body goes into that elimination mode 
and things start going back in the circulation, the body wants to dump them. And because today's man is so toxic, these things, just, it's not pleasant because um, all, all uh, you know, isolates, chemicals, and the pharmaceuticals, all that kind of stuff that you've been taking in your life, they get stored. They don't come out. When you, when you stop digestion, you know, once it takes about 24 hours to get in that state, then and only then these things will start coming out. And, you know, you've been taking drugs for whatever amount of years and you've been eating seven days a week. You're going to be stripping back as the years go by to the deeper and deeper levels of that stuff. You know, we've had, uh, I've heard cases of people, you know, that start tasting things they haven't tasted in 20, 30 years, you know, that <laughs> when they start doing these fasts. It's because it's actually starting to purge out. Uh, it's, it's maybe not only the physicality, but also the emotion of whatever you ate. It's attached and it brings the flavor because the body's detoxing it physically, spiritually, emotionally, in all levels when you fast. That's the beauty of fasting, which few I've seen very few understand this. And if when you can grasp that, then the fear starts diminishing because you understand what's going on. The process is not scary anymore. Okay, it's okay. What do we do? Like you were saying uh, before, enemas. <laughs> Just keep doing more enemas. These are lifesavers. There's, you know, oh. it's such a simple tool. S simple tool. And it's, uh, it, it, you're going to feel much better. The process is going to be easier for you. And that's it, you know. I haven't seen anybody uh, uh, have any negative effects from doing a lot of enemas. Never. Only positive. Been done. Enemas have been done since the Egyptians. Oh, it's the beginning of time. Yeah. There's yeah. birds that, uh, who was talking about it? Norman Walker, there's some, I can't remember the name of the bird that uses, that does its uh, enemas on itself to clean its rectum. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, it's, uh, if we, if we maintain clean eating, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to back up you know, in a, in a, in a quick state, we'll still back up. If we're on a hundred percent fruit diet, we'll still back up, but nowhere near when you start getting into the other fruits, nowhere near. It'll take many, many more years to plug you up on fruit than any other fruit. And that's the beauty of fruit. And yeah. we can fully enjoy. Um, but like I, we've talked about, you know, several times the challenge of people, uh, living a, a fruitarian lifestyle is the quality of fruit. If you can't get ripe fruit, it's going to be very challenging to be sticking to only a fruit diet. Very challenging. And, and that's what I see over and over. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, we got a lot of fruits here from around the world in Toronto, all over the world. We got everything. You go sometimes walk into a grocery store and I don't see anything I'm attracted to because they're just not at the ripe state. And I, I don't buy fruit if it's not ripe. It's... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not it doesn't taste good it doesn't taste good it won't satisfy you and it's not going to give you what it's supposed to be giving you because it's not reached its state for for it to be eaten that simple so that's that's a big big key flare and if we can't get you know fresh ripe fruit well what do we do we always well, we start going into the more of the non-sweet fruits like uh, peppers cucumbers zucchinis um uh, tomatoes, that kind of stuff. Uh, those we can find. Even the tomatoes, sometimes it's hard to find. You know, good ripe tomatoes. Uh, when you get a ripe tomato off the off your garden, there's just no comparison. It's like night and day. <laughs> so much flavor, especially when you grow things with proper energies. Like I, you know, I was growing stuff in my garden for years with ocean water, and the flavors were amazing, amazing. It's totally, totally satisfying. You know, I, 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 um, you know, we've done uh, uh, experiments on uh, animals with the uh, ocean water, and uh, like for example, cattle, uh, they'd be grazing on fields all day long, and then we'd spray them uh, these pastures with ocean water, dilute ocean water, certain uh, ppm, you know, uh, approximately fifteen hundred, two thousand parts per million. And uh, the cows would be, be eating two, three, four hours max. They're done. That's the difference it made, just spraying the field with ocean water, giving the field uh, balance. That's what the ocean water has. It has the balance, 
and then the grass that's sucking it up it gets into that balanced state so when the cow eats it it's it gets that balance much quicker it doesn't need to be eating and eating and eating because when there's no balance in the in that soil the cow can't find the balance so that's why uh, they start going nuts and eating weird things and do weird things animals because you know they're not wild they're caged up and they're forced to eat whatever's given to them in a certain area whereas a wild animal will go searching and so on and so so forth you know an animals have been known to eat clay charcoal all kinds of stuff and, and herbs and so on because they know they, they the body needs what it needs and they know what to do it's an instinct. It's it's naturally designed into into their program, that they automatically know what to do. They don't need to be uh, uh, taught. It's only the domesticated animals that have all the challenges, uh, or 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 wild animals that have been that the uh, habitat, the area has been uh, uh, changed by man. That's that's the other challenge. And now nowadays, there's not much on the whole planet that uh, man hasn't been tampered with. So. Um, you know, we, we got to do the best we can. And um, eating is the challenge, not fasting. Eating is the challenge and, and food kills, not fasting. <laughs> we just look at all the deaths that happen, uh, you know, going to in the newspaper, there's a obituary, and I guarantee you everybody's eating. Everybody, every, all, every, every person that dies has been eating seven days a week. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, one thing we can do is reduce that number one and reduce our food consumption one day a week to maximum six days a week and and over the years we slowly <clears throat> reduce that anybody can do 24 hours uh, fast a week anybody should be able to do that stone and then you have your 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 you know your dry windows for the day your 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 wet windows for the day and your eating window for the day. And uh, slowly but surely, you start expanding uh, to the less side of everything, and uh, things start bouncing out. It's not, it's not difficult. It's just, uh, it's just uh, a challenge in, 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 in the way we've been uh, brought up in our societies, the way they're run and revolve around food. So we have to make the choice and the commitment. And if without that, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Because uh, uh, you know, we look, we uh, the, the fast. You know, people come and go. They they're, they're believing. You know, they're going to do a fast. They're going to solve this this and that issue, and they're done. Uh, to stick around and make it a lifestyle, very few, very few. Also, the um, the food, the type of food that we're eating, it makes a huge difference. Uh, like some people might eat a little bit, but they're choosing some of the worst, like junk food. And, and that's not the answer neither, right? Yeah. Um, I mean, we see kids, these, yeah. like if you just walk in the street and look what the kids are eating mm. on the weekend, they're having chips and garbage. Uh, yeah, absolute garbage, you, you know. And these are our kids. Corporate so, food. So humans really are as toxic as they have ever been, I would say, uh, because the food is as... I mean, it hasn't been worse than that. It's all packaged full of chemicals and stuff that the body doesn't, I mean. The, the, these corporate foods are designed to keep you addictive. They're much more addictive, much more. All these packaged foods, all these fast food restaurants, 100%. These chains. Once you eat them, you want them. Designed. They're all designed to keep us addictive. Yeah, when you're when you're eating McDonald's and pizza and this and that, you're gonna want fruit. Even if you, <laughs> uh, you bring, even if I bring you the absolute best fruit, you're not gonna want the fruit because it's um, you're addicted to something to obstructions. It's not gonna work. Um, yeah, definitely. Also, the type of food, the amount of food, and uh, incorporating fasting as well. Yeah, we, you know, once we commit, you know, no big deal. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. No big deal, you know. <laughs> I think it's easier to start with changing the type of food that you're eating instead of the amount, I think. Because let's say with raw foods, you're not going to be as addicted. As raw food is not addictive. As with cooked food. 
So I think you can, when you start like that, you're going to automatically eat less. You want to eat less uh, yeah. in terms of heaviness, you know, and then slowly incorporate fasting. Yeah, there's uh, certain things that can help emotions a little bit more like you know some for some people you know, chewing on some celery eating some celery would help ground them or sit or some green juices or whatever um some tomatoes more of the savory stuff um when uh, the emotions start going nuts um you know it's just uh, some some people can't get that satisfaction through the fruit and the, one of the main things as we said earlier is it's the quality is is it ripe if it's not ripe it's not gonna satisfy you no way. No way. Uh, you will never see wild animals in the wild eating unripe fruit. I mean, the way the fruits look, you, you would say, no wonder people don't want to eat fruits. Plus the prices, you're like, okay, it's all, <laughs> it makes sense. You know, why would they want to buy fruits yeah. and eat fruits? They don't taste good. They're more expensive than the junk food. You know, you got a cherry tree going up in my backyard and other fruits, but uh, as soon as they're ripe, bang, birds come and attack them. Not before. As soon as they're ripe. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, if, if anybody's ever experienced eating fruit off a tree, right? It's just not, there's no experience. There's nothing can compare. Nothing. You know, it's like, um, Watering your garden with a hose. You know, you can water and water and water. One rain that happens, bang, everything blossoms. There's just no comparison because the, the energy that is the, the rain is taking on through, coming through the atmosphere, the plasmatic energy, is you, you can't put that in a hose that, where water comes through straight pipes for miles. And it's not going to happen in, in, in pipes. We can do many things to improve it, but it's never going to be at the state of what nature produces in the rain. So same thing with the ripe fruit. You know, you pick it early. It's never going to ripen uh, off a tree as it will on the tree. Not going to happen. It's not going to be the same. So that's the key. Learn how to pick ripe, fresh ripe fruit local if you can. If you can, Whatever local fruits are growing, it's, you know, it's depending where you are, because we don't have local fruits in the winter here. But uh, in the summer, we can get you know a lot of local fruits. We get peaches, pears, plums, apples, uh, grapes. Uh, what else we have here? Cherries in the spring. Uh, different berries. Um, we got we got quite a bit of stuff that happens uh, in our summers here, spring summer. Um, no, ap apricots also grow. What else is uh, in Ontario? Yeah, uh, I think that's it. The apples uh, in the fall, and then the apples would last for the whole year because they put them in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, who knows how many years they're stored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they put them in these uh, storage uh, places, and they I think they fill it with some kind of gas or something, uh, if I'm not mistaken, to keep the, the life extended. Um, yeah, it's, they do all kinds of stuff. So um, it's a big challenge to be a fruitarian in a, in a modern society, not living in a tropical paradise. <laughs> like this, even in the tropical paradise, you know, I was in the Belize there, um, looking in, you know, fruit stands and stuff. There's a lot of fruit picked unripe, even in those places. I just don't know why. You know, why is it picked unripe? There's, uh, I guess there's more chance for profit because it lasts longer right yeah yeah if they don't sell that day they have it for the next day and so on and so forth but when eating in those places the, the, on the fruit totally satisfying like no comparison none didn't have to think about anything else <laughs> you know just eat fruit over here yeah when the, when the fruit's there it's, it's wonderful you know it's good you know, mangoes, we have mango season. It's just it's, it's a couple times that I found good, really ripe mangoes. Most of them are hard as a rock. <laughs> they're not going to ripen. You can put them whatever you want. They're gonna, they are gonna they start rotting instead of ripening <laughs> when they when you buy them if they're hard as a rock. So I don't, I don't, I don't buy them like that. It's just, it's not the same. It's not the same.
Yep. The color too, you can tell from the color, you know, the right ones are orange ones, the other ones. I had them in the kitchen here, you know, and then it smelled up the whole kitchen. The odor was wonderful. You know, beautiful ripe mangoes. That's the way it needs to be. If you can't smell, then, you know, it's it's, it's never going to uh, uh, get to that proper state off the tree. You know, bananas is one of the few fruits that ripens pretty good off the tree. Um, I'm, you know, but I, I say that if it was raping on the tree, it would be much better because uh, eating the, the bananas in the tropical places versus here. They're different varieties and everything, but way better, way better. <laughs> well, the flavors, no comparison. Uh, when you have beautiful ripe fruit, man, it's just awesome. I, I love dates. They're some of my favorite. And uh, dates are the only fruit that is dried on the on the tree. I mean, it's dried on the tree, not just ripened. It's <laughs> it's the best. They grow in the desert. Especially, yeah. I love dates. Yeah, like more than hundred different Hand, kinds. Handful of dates. In Saudi Arabia, more than four hundred different kinds in Iraq. And I mean, it's like each one is like a like a different type of candy, but like God's candy, you know, like the best candy. <laughs> it's like caramel yeah. texture. I mean, I don't know. yeah, it's it's the best. I love it, and it's not yeah. so sweet like majul. Majul is like when you eat it, sometimes you feel like it's too sweet. No, these ones are just perfect sweetness. Like you can eat them. Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, most people that are on regular diets, they they still plug themselves up because their body's not in a state that can process it properly, especially when they're not living in those countries where they grow. Um, but I enjoy dates; <laughs> they're awesome. Um, what's your favorite fruit, Inga? Inga, you're you're muted. <laughs> uh. I would say mango and carrot. Mango? Are you on, are you on the fast now? Because I missed the yeah. beginning. Yeah, you're yeah. still on. Yeah, it, it, we, you see, we, we, when we're fasting, we should be able to discuss talking about food. This uh, shouldn't bother you. I have no problem. I have no problem yeah. talking about yeah. it. Because no. some people are sensitive, but I, I say if, if you can't, you know, discuss it now, what are you going to do when you start eating again? You're going to go nuts. So learn to just you know, accept it and enjoy it. Enjoy the smells, the aromas, the emotion of the food when you're, when you're fasting because you'll enjoy more, honestly, uh, the aromas and everything when you're fasting than when you're eating. Much more intense. Every, all your senses are heightened and it's really wonderful. Um, you just missed uh, when I was talking to Rana. I was in Latvia last week and I was eating like from clean very very clean garden strawberries peas from the tree cherries tomatoes cucumbers nice and i and i come back to ireland now and next day i just was to say that's it i'm ready to do a fast and i came down to my a partner's house and he has a beautiful greenhouse nice. and it's beautiful red strawberries cucumbers and it's fine as i'm not no one even touch yeah. I just, I feel so good to be in there and to have Yeah, that. yeah. Enjoy the interaction of the fields, of the emotions yeah. of those plants. Just connect with them. And and it's really invigorating when you can do that. You, you just got to, you know, uh, tap into that. We all have it. Um, you know, uh, most people don't even know they have that. You know, they'll walk in by these plants and they don't even pay attention. But when you go in with that intent and to interact at that level, at the spirit level of the plants, it's very satisfying. That's why. What's the best antidepressant? Go out in nature, be with plants. There's nothing better. Nothing better. Well, you know, are you going to go to the doctor and get a prescription? <laughs> That's not going to solve your problem. It's going to cause more issues. So, just go in nature as much as you can. And, you know, today I don't know if you mentioned we went to the uh, one of the island beaches here in downtown Toronto. Spent the day there. It's awesome. You know, just. Laying in the sun, relaxing, doing nothing, <laughs> connecting with the earth. I so. was in the beach today and I just fell asleep. Yeah, nice. It's amazing the energy that you get from the sun. I mean, and even we were surprised because his mom is always at home, right? And we took her out to the beach and she did not complain about how hot because it was extremely hot. She, she just <laughs> loved it, you know, like. She just sat down and 
I mean, yeah. unlike when she's home, right, where yeah. she would be, you know, pain, in pain, her head, or this or that. No, she connected. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Yeah, you can play after to go home <laughs> after we left. <laughs> yeah, well, she, uh, she's tired, right? So she has to. <laughs> yeah, that's why I was late. But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, awesome. We, we, the answers are in plain sight. You know, we, it's, it's clear. Food is not the answers. So let's restrict and get the best quality and enjoy the times we eat fully. That's it. And. You know, if let's say you know you're you're, you're on an eating schedule, or whatever, and you, you can't find really ripe stuff or something that you know is going to be some good greens or whatever. Okay, no big deal. Do it the next day. <laughs> so we'll go look at another store, or whatever. <laughs> no big deal. We shouldn't have to feel that we have to eat. We miss a day. Who cares? Miss another day. Who cares? You're, once you, you've been doing this for a while, missing a day here and there for whatever reason, it shouldn't even, you shouldn't even flinch, it shouldn't bother you at all. The, the way you test uh, what state somebody's health is in is you just put them on a three-day fast and you'll know what state they're in. The more they complain, the more they're obstructed. <laughs> the more, you know, reactions, the more they're obstructed. It's very, very easy to gauge is how to, how to test the person's health. Just put them on a three-day fast. My God, there are some people who can't go on two hour. Exactly. Three hour fast. <laughs> yeah, there are some people they have to eat every every couple of hours. They're, otherwise, they start getting headaches and stuff. That is not a place you want to be in. Or irritated, you know, like just irritated because yeah. something inside them is hungry. You know? Yeah, it's so it's continuously keeping the body in a digestive mode, so it has no chance of it getting a digestive rest. And that's uh, the state a lot of people are in. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen this over and over with people. Some people have to eat before they go to bed or they can't sleep. Just think about that. <laughs> I've ran into a lot of those. It's not no, a good state to be in. The truth it's, is that it's the opposite. You can't sleep when you're full, you know? You can sleep much better when you're light. Yeah. Well, it's many years of training to get to that point. <laughs> yeah, if, uh, I sleep. I sleep so sound, very, very deep when I'm on my drives. Very deep. It's just like a whole nother experience than when you're on eating days. You know, it doesn't matter what food. Uh, there's no experience like it when you're in, in those fasting states, especially the long ones. You get into. It's like the body just sinks and becomes part of the mattress sometimes it's like whoa how deep did you know the sleep goes it's just awesome feeling awesome and that's the way um we should be able to sleep right and uh, if we can uh, get to a state where um you can replace your sleep with meditation then you're onto something really big and there's people who can do that because they've been practicing for so long their meditation and it's amazing if we can do that. That's really powerful because what that's telling us is very clearly they're tapping into the infinite energy supply, which can restore the body very quickly, much more quick than sleep would because sleep is a physicality thing. Meditation going within is connecting to your source, to God, your creator, whatever you want to call it. And everything, all the magic happens when you can do that. And that's the beauty of, and what, and where we see all these amazing transformations is why is that happening? Is because we're on long digestive vacations, <laughs> and they start, people start connecting to their inner source. That's why it happens. It doesn't happen with food. It doesn't happen with food. Uh, it's, uh, it's a whole another ball game. There's, you know, there's. Few people can, can do with food. I'm not one of them. <laughs> I need to be on a, a digestive vacation, and I can <clears throat> connect much more clearly because I become so sensitive uh, uh, with uh, eating, uh, and especially to get into the, the heavier things. It's just whoa! And it puts me to sleep. And it's just <laughs> what did I what did I do that for? I enjoyed it. What did I do it for? <laughs> 
is uh, I, I don't regret whatever I do. I'll, I'll enjoy it and you know, pay the price if you have to pay it and uh, move on uh, and continue and keep digging. You know, it's, uh, it's awesome. It's uh, we're all learning. We're all learning. And uh, as we go on, we'll learn more and we'll keep inspiring each other more and more and, and, and we'll see each other growing, you know, and, and expanding their awareness together. It's amazing, amazing. Uh, some of the people, the transformations, it's just, you, wow, <laughs> holy jeez. <laughs> you can't even recognize them <laughs> before and after. They look like completely two different people. It was just beautiful watching these transformations. Very, very inspiring. Very inspiring. Um, the ones who go off, some of them come back. A year or two later, they come back because they 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 felt it and they miss that wonderful feeling. And it keeps calling them, it keeps calling them. But they they bury themselves in their old ways to bury the emotions that are trying to surface to be balanced. And the, 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 that beautiful, wonderful feeling they were when they were on Mass Effect keeps calling them, and it keeps calling them. And one day. They open the door and they're back to <laughs> down a <to> master fast. <laughs> it's, you know, I've been there. I'm like, I'm only talking through my experience. I've, I've, I've been there. It's, uh, we've all done this stuff. And if uh, people say they don't, you know, that would be pretty amazing. Uh, most people go through this stuff. 99.9% .9 of people uh, that uh, practice fasting will go through these uh, different uh, sensations and so on and so forth and emotions and all that. And uh, beautiful, beautiful. Um, as long as we uh, commit, commit, commit. That's the big word, big word. Have you written your goals, Inga? No, not yet. No, not yet. Come on. It's not hard. One a day, right? One goal a day. Actually, when you're saying, actually, I did in June, but didn't work out. Actually, I have probably 10. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Just keep writing. Keep writing. Keep journaling. Whatever. Whatever comes to your mind. Pick a, a you know, five, 10 minutes of your, of your day, same time, either when you wake up or before you go to bed, whatever, or maybe both, and, and, and jot something down. Get into the habit. Yeah, it's, I find it's that really very magical, uh, the power of the pen. Yeah. I find that very it's magical to write down. I know, but you, 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 like, uh, what does it take uh, 21 days to create a habit? So do it for 21 days, and okay. then it'll, you'll be inspired to keep continue and keep going. It may be a struggle, you know, first week or two weeks to, to force yourself to do it. But hey, you know, put it on your on your alarm on your phone that time or whatever, right? Like we mm -hmm. do with four thirty two, nine seconds of your day, dedicated to you know uh, peace, balance, correct conduct, or to uh, the the the, uh, the 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 foundation and, and principles of of creation and our our creator. You know, uh, he didn't create chaos and destruction and death. <laughs> that's that's humans that have done that through their free will. So. We can uh, we can be the change and make examples so uh, other people can uh, choose to make the same choices and have a much better uh, planet to live in, a much more peaceful, wonderful place. Uh, we can have paradise on this planet instantly if people chose it. It's not hard to do. It's just it's the monkey mind, for whatever reason, this is in a trap, in a program, and people believe it's real. We it's start not, with ourselves. Yeah, yeah, we start with Yeah, yeah. And when you have a partner, you know, like I want my wonderful partner that you have on, you're on the same page, and you can connect. You know, much more powerful things happen in in, the, in twos uh, with people in threes and fours and fives and thousands if they're on the same uh, path. It's just uh, amazing things happen, transpire. Um, you know, Ran has been uh, since the start. The master, as soon as we started, she was been <laughs> on this I, page. I was with you. I think we met two weeks before the Facebook uh, group. 
before we started, before yeah, yeah Mike started the Facebook group for you. Uh, and I was there mm -hmm. when, when you, uh, I think when he just added you to the group. <laughs> and you made me an admin. You added me to the group and made me an admin. And uh, yeah, and so we were there definitely from the beginning. So it growing. None of us are perfect. None of us are perfect. Far from it. It doesn't matter. You know, we're we're learning. We're learning, and we're evolving. And you know, we're we're uh, mentoring people to you know take the challenge and do it for themselves, because that's all we can do is do it for ourselves. Um, Connecting with nature is a big, big, big thing that we all need to do more often. Uh, wherever you live, connect more with nature. For the people that are um, put themselves in a situation, living in the nat more in nature, like in the country and everything, mountains and the sea, awesome. It's awesome. It's beautiful being around those places. Uh, so I, 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 I love living li living near the sea. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just uh, near near water, mountains and and waters, my two my favorite things, and also that I've experienced the rainforest is amazing, or uh, any forest, you know, just connecting with all these plants, uh, it's, nature it's all wonderful. You know, I haven't been to a desert. I, oh, actually, sorry, I was in Arizona, but I haven't actually been in in, in the actual desert itself, and as in. Uh, Sand everywhere. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so, mangoes are your favorite fruit. I love mangoes too. They're amazing. So many varieties of mango. I think there's like 400 varieties of mangoes. We have very difficult. You know, Sorry? We have very difficult, like in Ireland, there's very little, like, Ireland doesn't grow really fruits. Mm. Very difficult. Yeah, that's the challenge. I think we get maybe about, uh, if we're lucky, we get like six, seven different varieties of mangoes here. Wow. Oh. Maybe a bit more, but not always, just, and, and they're not cheap. You know, we get some from Colombia, from Brazil, uh, from the U.S., from, uh, where else do they come from? From East Asia, I'm sure. Uh, I've, 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 yeah, I've had some from Pakistan. They were amazing. Those ones, very expensive. Like we can get one mango costing three, four dollars. Crazy, crazy prices. How much? You know how many you need for a meal? Three, four dollars each. And that's not Depends even or, organic. Yeah, regular mango, like uh, the, the the basic ones that you can get anywhere. And these days, you get they're like a dollar or a dollar fifty each. That's at the low end these days. Um, the fruit prices have gone crazy over here. Uh, it's just gone insane. But yeah, you can uh, you can spend a few bucks on a mango. So if you want to eat a uh, you know five six mangoes, it costs you you know twenty thirty bucks of mangoes. If you're getting those uh, more expensive ones. Um, you fast can cost you nothing. <laughs> Most people will go the, the heavy food uh, route, you know. Cheaper stuff. Yeah, cheaper, the cheap, the heavy, heavy foods are cheap. Yeah. Rice and potatoes, you can't get cheaper than that. Packaged food? You know, from legumes and beans, cheap, cheap, cheap. You want to eat that way, buy bags of the stuff. <laughs> and you can you know eat day after day after day for a few bucks but uh look what it does eating that stuff over over the years it's not it's not very pleasant uh it's not uh bodies uh don't like it much um yeah what time are we at eight, eight, uh, an hour and a half Okay. Anybody else we have? Uh, Barbara. Anything to say, Barbara? Mark Martin, we haven't seen you in a while. Are you doing okay? <laughs> How are you? How are you? 
see. We can hear you now. Oh, no. Can you? You're, you're muted again. What about now? Yeah, now we can hear you. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. How are everybody doing? Good, good. Thanks. Great, thank you. You, yeah, you were one that working. moved to a. Yeah, you were one that moved here. in a place with better fruit quality, right? Yeah, Arizona. That's right. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's 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 pretty good right now. Nice. Makes a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, big time. Compared to Ohio, yeah. it's not even close. Yeah, exactly. But like for me, exactly, I don't know, I've been struggling a little bit like with the um, even being raw, like with salads, salads are even hard for me now. Yeah. Like not on just straight fruits, I just don't do as well. And like sometimes I get a exactly. little edema, even on salads. As soon as I go straight fruits, mm -hmm. I mean, it clears right up. Everything is just, I mean, fruitarian is just the only way. I mean, for people that's damaged yeah. like me. Now, if you're not damaged, mm -hmm. you know, you probably can get away with some. But for me, as soon as I eat anything cooked, my pressure is higher, not necessarily high, but higher. My body odor is different. I wake up with a dry mouth. I mean, it's just, yeah. it's not like with anything cooked. I don't care, sweet potato, broccoli, anything. It just sucks water from my body. And I just, you know, I just yeah. dry and I honey taste in my mouth and I mean, a different kind of body odor. It's just, it's, it's, it's nothing comparison to just yeah. fruit. As we, we, we start cleaning in deeper and deeper levels, the body just doesn't want that dense, nutritious stuff. It wants very... Yeah, even sprouts, I was making my sprouts, but even, even sprouts, it's just... Yeah. Yeah, taxing, <laughs> still see <through> taxing. <laughs> He's busy working. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah, but I remember he 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 was a few months back last year. It was like he he moved to Arizona because to get better quality fruit. You know, that's uh, well, some people nice. do that, right? <laughs> it's awesome. Um, but you know, uh, there's things we can do, and we can make the best of the situations we're in. Uh, meaning, uh, eat less. <laughs> <laughs> more fasting days <laughs> stay more on liquids you know um, you can stay on master fasting definitely like Mar uh, Marin's doing in Germany uh, few will dare to do that <laughs> I, I thought I was on the right track and until I fell off with that, I was thinking I would uh, I'm just fast forever, but it didn't work. <laughs> yeah, I, I not that it didn't work. Soon. It's just an, no, it's, another, another step in the direction. Yeah, whatever it is, sometimes the challenge is it's kind of hard to expect, you know, so it's hard to say this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. So you, you, you plan and you have a goal, but then just go one day at a time. Make it work, you know, somehow. Yeah. Today, I'm not eating. Then tomorrow comes. Today, I'm not eating. Then tomorrow comes. Today, I'm not eating. That's it. One day at a time. Why, why stress ourselves out? Oh, we're not going to eat. I don't want to eat ever again. You, you just emotionally, we can't handle that. No way. One in a billion, maybe? <laughs> no. It's, it's too, too much um, pressure on the whole yeah. psyche. Yeah, it's just not going to happen. Uh, just one day at a time, yeah. guys. And and the good thing is, like, after, let's say, 
Well, I don't know. Maybe after um, after the first few days, it becomes easier. After the first few weeks, it becomes even easier. After the first few months, you're like, okay, I know that I'm like I'm totally satisfied. I have no cravings. I have no hunger. I'm full. I'm not thirsty. I'm, you know, it's perfect. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does take some time to clean up. It's about cleaning up. The the cleaner we are, in my opinion, the um, less cravings we have and the less thirst we have too. Yeah, it's, we feel much better uh, with empty stomachs and GI tracts. Much better, no comparison. Um, some of us that are challenged coming into the lifestyle, it's going to be a while, a few years, but um, no big deal. There's no rush. Continue, keep digging. Keep digging and digging and digging. <laughs> Keep doing those enemas. You know, try the uh, the, uh, and, uh, the the colon feeding protocol. It's, uh, challenge everybody to try that. Yeah, I don't know why, but you guys scared me because everybody says uh, that kicks butt. Everybody says it kicks butt, so it kind of <laughs> <laughs> it scares me a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You have a question, Ingo? Yes. Go ahead. Uh, you know, you recommend now, I, I read on the Facebook page, tinctures. Uh, if you uh, buy a tincture from yourselves, you don't recommend all the time the same ones. Because I don't already price. Um, and I still have, I still have another while to go. Oh, my phone is not charging. If uh, if you're on MFS, if you're on yeah. MFS, your body will not get used to the herbs. It's it's when you are using them for eating. For example, if you're on a, on a hybrid where you're eating yeah. one meal a day, and you're doing that for long periods of time, for many many months, you know, after three four months, I would suggest yeah, you change them up. But when you're uh, on on MFS, I've haven't seen. Uh, the body get used to herbs. It doesn't. It's it's completely different state when you're not eating, not digesting. Okay. And if you want to change them, you can. No big deal. But I'm just saying, if you're on MFS, do not worry about that. It's nice to have the variety once in a while to change a little bit. Uh, but keep the basic yeah. ones, which is the kidneys, the lymph, the glands. But it's nice to change just to have like to cover you absolutely each every area in your body because right they yeah they they, phys they 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 support the physicality and they support the emotion and spirit they support all around and this is the importance and the crucial aspect where people don't understand like we were talking earlier about how toxic today's man man is and um um you you don't want to be doing uh fast without support these days well for it's, it's such cheap insurance and the efficiency and effectiveness is you can't even compare the difference um you know this is uh i, I explained when i started my journey and ended up frying my kidneys and bladder and sciatic nerve you know uh, i didn't know what was going on back then but now we understand what happened so this is why we have a system it's uh we're working at all levels and we're, 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 we're focusing on, on fields versus the physicality, the physicality. It's, it's, it's there. It's the other stuff that we need to work with because that's where the problems start in the motions. And, uh, we, uh, how do we do it? We, uh, we continue and continue and, and use the tools to support ourselves. And, and it, uh, it all comes to balance eventually. Uh, slowly but surely, um, uh, you know, we uh, we always want to tempt ourselves and go back to some of the foods like we're missing something and, 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 and maybe we want to reassure ourselves, is the food really doing that to me? And lo and behold, we try it again and lo and behold, it does it again. And in the next morning, oh yeah, man, I don't want, I don't want to do that again. And then, and then we do it again. We try it again. And we hit, we hit ourselves with the hammer in the head a few times, and, and you know maybe you know three, four, five times before we say, oh man, yeah, okay, I'm done with that. 
uh, it's time to commit. Uh, I don't want to do that to myself anymore. Uh, you know, but some people continue and they do it over and over and over and over. Uh, there's some deep, deep emotions are just not, not wanting to let up and, certain, and, and to come to the surface. And we have to look at, you know, uh, uh, through the upbringings, uh, any traumas that happen in our lives that are locked up in there. And also we could be carrying traumas from parents and grandparents, which uh, if you understand, uh, and so on. So there's a lot that can, you know, surface when we count on these fasts and it could be overwhelming and scary for some people and uh, they'd rather feel the physical pain than the emotional pain so they eat they eat and to numb themselves out so the emotional pains don't come but if you work through and let those emotions come forth you know once they're released you're done with it and uh, keep moving to the next one Yeah. And are you thinking of uh, switching tinctures, like uh, adding new ones and removing some of? Not yet, no. Not yet, no, yeah. Yeah, it's okay. I'm on thirteen, like twelve, super twelve, and most detox. Nice. Yeah. No, I just I I see that, and I, and I thought the next time I need purchase, then I thought maybe I need to change, but. No, it's it's works fine. Yeah, you don't have to, but uh, it would be nice. I mean, there are if you ha you're taking twelve or thirteen, there are over hundred different herbs in there. So, mm -hmm. right? So, it's a lot of herbs already. Um, mm, so, yeah. but you can change if you want, just for you know. Yeah. Okay, very powerful. That's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they are. <laughs> Yeah, there's there's nothing like them uh, we 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 put a lot of uh, our heart into making the best we could um mark martin has really uh, been working hard on mindfulness meditation and breath work awesome awesome we, we all need to keep doing that um so important so important in today's uh, fast paced uh, lifestyles that we all live um, we need to take time for ourselves and uh, all these things are wonderful and part of our tool structure. Um, anything that we see that can help benefit people, we will add to the tools. We, we've been uh, doing a lot of that over the last uh, few years. Uh, yeah, you know, it's, there's so much stuff out there. It's just hard to remember everything as time goes on and people go through experience. So yeah, we got to add that one and add that little tool and that little tool. They're just tools for support and they're all wonderful. Um, can you imagine we had no tools? Oh boy, <laughs> you wouldn't want to be going through that like I did, man. <laughs> Just me you now throwing yourself into the fire and let's see you work yourself out. <laughs> it was, uh, it was, it was an experience, that's for sure. Just going blind, and let's see what happens. <laughs> Nobody to discuss and ask questions and and understand it was it was uh it was quite some some experience many many years of of that <clears throat> so now that uh, fasting is gaining steam more so in the mainstream uh, they have different uh um theories and uh philosophies about it which for me is uh doesn't make any sense because they're thinking about uh, scientific terms and all that stuff and your body needs this that and the other thing and here we are chugging away and understanding that it's all about subtraction and allowing the body to do all the work through the soul through the creator um, this is the key this is the key and uh, when we can open up to that everything changes everything changes and the magic starts really happening, you know, like, um, it's awesome. Um, um what are we at? Uh, anything else guys? Or we can, uh, call it a little bit of an early night.
time gone back to bed. <laughs> well, what time is it there Hello. now? What time is it? I mean, chill. It's eight forty almost. Eight forty. That's a one forty. You're six hours ahead. A five. One forty. Yeah, so yeah. you're tired, huh? Thanks for joining us. Thanks <laughs> oh, for joining no, us. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's Thank you really all, nice all you guys. You. It's it's you know it's it's awesome just you know just chatting away here, doing yeah. whatever. Being around like-minded people for sure. Was, uh, and I was in bed already. Uh, I said to my boyfriend, "I'm gonna have a nap because I'm gonna join the Zoom." And then I say, "Right, I'm a bit tired. Uh, Listen tomorrow morning." And he came upstairs just 10 to 12 and he says, Inga, time to Zoom. I said, okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, you know, we got all the different hours and times. This is really the only window I can do on a Saturday. So mm. it's, it's tough for more of the European in some areas, but hey, we do the best we can. Uh, Wednesday, we do it at uh, Facebook Live. Not uh, like this, but uh, that's at uh, 306. So most yeah, that is very like that is very easy for me to yeah. join. Yeah. So we don't do that in a couple of weeks as best we can and keep uh, keep it going. Uh, as long mm -hmm. as we're around, we'll we'll keep doing this and uh, supporting everybody that wants to commit. And uh, so it's awesome. Yeah. So awesome so uh, your boyfriend Enga is putting Zoom before him. He must really love you. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Amazing. So mm. yeah. awesome. This is beautiful when people can uh, support each other. It makes it much easier. Much, <laughs> much easier. Instead of struggling, I've had so many family members uh, that are really in need of. Uh, healing and uh, the other family members not on board i've seen it over and over and over and it's so challenging for some of these people that they get driven back to the system and they don't stick around too much longer they just, they just don't have the energy to fight the family members and by all good means they shouldn't have to people everybody should be fully supported in decisions they make for themselves of which way they want to uh, you know take care of themselves nobody should interfere with that nobody everybody should support See, you know, i am very strong-minded yeah. and it was very same uh, like he was very fearful what i'm doing because he thought like i can go diabetes get diabetes or sugar 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 that's all i could hear and but eventually over time months i think he didn't have any option to accept because like i say i'm gonna do it and that's my choice that's my pure yeah. choice yeah i think it's actually also how you are actually mentally in your head yeah yeah but you know there, there are just some people that just they just don't have that energy and they don't have that you know strong will and because they're in such a weak state there's in a such imbalanced state and uh, they're not around like i uh, i remember an old one of my son's uh friend's grandfather he was uh you know gonna go for chemo i go no man don't 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 go that route i wouldn't if i was you start cleansing you know he's never done a fast or anything so they started doing this cleansing he started losing a lot of weight his family members are freaking out <laughs> and uh you know he's i go so what's going on he tell me about one of his shoulders that it was kind of like seized for like 30 or 40 years and it freed up and he freaked out he goes i can't believe my shoulder it's, the pain's gone i go well you know your body's healing it doesn't heal uh only one spot it heals wherever it needs <laughs> and he continued for a while but then he's you know the weight was really freaking him out and, and his family members were freaking him out more which made it worse for him ended up going to get chemo and uh, wasn't allowed to run he's not no longer around us he's, he, he uh, decided to jump the fence um, you know I, I see this so many times so many times where people are getting better and they get you know kind of forced into these other decisions that because of the fear factor from everybody else even though the signals are there that they're healing they they allow the fear of all the people family and friends to overtake them 
and it's sad. You know, we, we should be able to be supported, whatever we want to do. You know, we get all these, uh, all these uh, things about our weight when we're in, on these fasts. Like, you know, what about all these people that are obese? <laughs> They're in much more danger than anybody fasting. I can tell you that. I've never seen a centurion who's overweight. <laughs> They're all small leaders. I just think we are so far away from nature and people just don't see it. Yeah, total disconnect. Yeah. Num totally in a numb state. Don't don't have a clue what's if they're coming or going. <coughs> you have to be a certain weight. You have to be a certain weight. But yeah. Like, I feel maybe so bad about that. What's the point we have in that weight? What is the science tells you, isn't it? If you're eating, most people carry at least a 20 pounds to 30 pounds of backed up food in them, at least, average people. And then on top of that, it's the inflammation throughout the body. Everybody has some inflammation if they're eating, depending on the diets, some have more than others. But uh, the inf once you have inflammation, the body holds on to more fluid. So when you know, you're holding a millimeter of fluid throughout your whole body, that's a lot extra weight. <laughs> and and that, what, what happens when you start fasting, you pee it all out pretty quick, the extra fluid. So the body's kind of relieved. Oh, I can start dumping this stuff. Thank you. <laughs> so, yeah, so all great experiences. All right, guys, uh, let's wrap it up then, and uh, we'll call it a night, and we thank you again for joining us, and keep that plasma love flowing, and keep inspiring everybody, everybody around you, keep inspiring. Mm -hmm. When somebody asks you about anything about your weight, say, I feel fantastic. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> and they'll leave you alone, hopefully. <laughs> okay, so... Thank Ciao. you guys. Good Thank night for you, some of you. And Much we'll love be in bed to too. all of yours. Thank you. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Thank you, bye-bye.